Speedwire bikes are unlike any other machines in motorsport. They can hit speeds over 100 km an hour, but they don't have any brakes. Sounds completely crazy, huh? Let's have a closer look at some of the mechanical aspects. The engines are 500cc in Speedwire GP and SDP2, with a smaller 250cc motor used in the new SGP3 championship for under 16 riders this season. All categories of bikes must weigh a minimum of 77 kilo and run on methanol, a clean burning fuel that delivers astonishing performance. One of the most important things about the Speedway bike is there are no brakes. The bikes have only one fixed gear. You change the sprocket in the pits between races to change the amount of drive the bike gives you. For a smaller track like Cardiff, you would use a bigger sprocket with lots of teeth. On a bigger circuit like Rock Club, you would use a smaller sprocket with a fewer teeth for a higher top speed. Speedway bikes have a dry clutch, which takes a lot of punishment, and all the power of the engine comes directly into the clutch. It's like starting a car in six gear. The bikes have a rigid frame with no suspension on the back wheel and just a small shock absorber at the front, so you totally feel all the vibrations and bumps of the track as a rider. Rider and their teams can make other adjustments to the bike, including changing the ignition timing, switching the carburetor jet, and moving the rear wheel back or forward in a bid to increase or reduce traction to suit track conditions. Rear tires could be used for as few as one or two races, as teams seek that fresh edge to ensure ultimate grip of the start line. Some riders opt to use a new tire for every heat. Others use a rear tire for two races, turning it after its first race to get the fresh edge. As soon as you drop the clutch when the tapes go up, you have 100 km per hour on the back wheel instantly. The bikes have very good acceleration, better than a Formula One car into the first corner. Get your bike set up right and this job is always much easier.